I, ooh, I have a note. We had, we did a couple shows in Kansas City. They were very last minute. We had to reschedule Florida. Sorry, Florida. Ian, straight white men are at it again. Causing a lot of havoc. Ian, that's a straight white male name. And look what he did to the people of Florida. Yeah, Katie almost didn't get to go on vacation. I almost didn't. It was a <laughs> dicey 48 hours. Uh, we had a great couple shows in Kansas City, and I got a note from a fan. I said, I'm going to save that for the podcast. Yes, she handed it to me. I was okay, kind of... Oh, it's downstairs. Oh, stall. Yeah. Or, I, you don't have to stall. You can just keep like podcasting. You got a handwritten note. Yes, a handwritten note. Yeah, I believe so. I didn't look at it. So a woman after the show came up to me, and she just told me, she's like, I love you guys. Um, my son reminds me a lot of Trey. And vice versa, he wasn't able to come, but I wrote Trey a note, and I want you to give it to him. I was like, cool, fun. And uh, so I walked back into the green room, and I gave it to Trey, and he said, I'm not going to look at it. I'm going to save it for the podcast. So I don't know what's in here. Trey doesn't know what's in here, but it's just a little note from right, it's a, a big fan. From a little boy? Uh, is that where a normal I approach? honestly don't know if it's from the perspective of the boy. Also, the boy is 24, she told me. Oh, okay. Well, um, yeah, yeah that was 24 my 24-year-old son. Well, you, but you don't know his his stature exactly. No, I don't know how tall he is. Okay. Uh, I put it in my wallet, right? Oh, I don't right. don't know. Can you special. imagine? All right. Oh, it's tiny. That's yeah, a it's a tiny. tiny it's gonna be less than ten words. Here we go. This. Uh, this is from her son. You said? No, I I don't know. Oh, okay. I haven't sorry. looked at sorry. it. Sorry, dear Trey, I was the Grammy in the audience. I talked with a woman, found out she's Grammy. Oh, so she wrote this like after the performance then. Cool. Our son is so much like you. I get this a lot from motherly figures. Like you're just like our son. Adorable and funny. Um, and then she gave, then she put Maverick, I won't say his full name, and put that he's on Instagram and put his Instagram. I should connect with her son because we're just alike. Oh, <laughs> that's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> All these women, there's so many ladies listening right now. They're like, he's just like my son or my brother. What am I really? Am I that? You're just that. I told you I that. Mean, I told you that story one time of a, a seven year old woman in the meet and greet on tour. She's like, you are just like my son, except you are so hot. <laughs> <laughs> 70 years old. Let's go. Okay. All right. It's hard. Oh, and the cell phone number here at the end. Should we call him? No. You think that's his? <laughs> yeah, I don't. You think that's his or know. her number? Yeah, maybe it's like a. Yo, is this Maverick? She's like, it's my son loves Grammy. you. He needs, yeah. He needs a daddy. Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> okay. It is well, that was funny. So you get that a lot that you remind people of their son? I get a lot of the. Uh, the f- yeah, 50, 60 plus female fans go, it's just, you remind me of my son. Which is interesting because just objectively, you were you just have a very unique, unique job. Like they just got done watching you at a stand up comedy show. Right. I mean, just, is it's a son? classic. I don't know what. They, every He's mo- funny every mother thinks their son dinner. is funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Does your mom think your, her sons are funny? I think so. I mean, I am the funniest one out of the family, but. Which one of her kids well, is on a podcast right believe now? It. Yeah. yeah, I mean... Which one's a famous podcast comedian? Pretty obvious. Basically. <laughs> Isn't that what it means? Did you, do your parents think you're funny, Jake? Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Thanks. I just, just No, they don't. Yeah, no. That's, what, that's what's pushed you to try to do it professionally. Um, no, their support uh, has helped. But there was a guy in college... I can't remember if I've told this story in the podcast before. And... He was the dean of students, and he called me in his office because I was getting in trouble for doing something that, I don't know, I was probably like <laughs> made a video and put it on social media. And he's like, I don't know if Christian should be using Facebook, you know, one of those <laughs> like meetings. And I was like, I think it's fine. And he's like, I don't know. Uh, and he's like, but while I have you, um, you need to stop trying to be funny. You're just, you're just not funny. Wow. Listen. I'm like 21 years old. The dean of students just called you me in his office. You up there me. just laughing? No. <laughs> He's not. He's like an That incompetent. is what propelled you for it. I don't know if it was like a big motivator, but I haven't forgotten it. And I kind of want to tag him and stuff every now and then. Oh, yeah. But Let's I tag him in this. I, <laughs> clip it. <laughs> I haven't ever sent is anything his way. The, is he still the dean? Um, he moved colleges. He's like somewhere else now. And so I've just kind of kept a mental note. Like, I don't know when the a certain 
milestone, but whenever I hit it, I'm going to deliver him something, you know, like a like a dead horse's head. It's pretty unrelated to the comedy, actually, you know, just something intimidating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just like a death threat or yeah. something. Yeah. Just a death know. threat. Something like that. This we'll is just, Jake you know. <laughs> just like call him and like know the names of his kids' elementary school. Yeah. Just like to get even. Just real quick. <laughs> right. Just freak him out a little bit. Like, this is the guy you told me to stop being funny? Well, guess what? I got pretty I serious. <laughs> I got pretty serious at Elmwood Drive last night. It's like, that's where, that's where I live. Like, uh-huh. yeah, you, you dad gum right. Oh, trust me. We know how to connect with people's children. You heard of Maverick? <laughs> Yeah, we he, can call him right now, dude. He's Grammy's son. He's 24, but <laughs> it's... <laughs> Last I heard, he was 24. 